We're in the Patagonia store right now and the only shirts that I found that I liked are kids So this is like a girl's large, but this is like so cute and I really want it, but I just like I don't like the fit of it. It's really small. This is a boys medium and it's like bigger than that one I don't know. I really want one of the shirts with the logo on the front because I have one with the logo on the back But then you can't see because my hair This one's also small, but I do like the fit of this a lot better than that one Even though that one's way cuter. This lighting is super bad, but now we're in the free people on Pearl Street I'm trying on this pink camo shirt. The thing that I don't like about free people is their stuff runs so big Like this shirt is literally small And it's like huge I'm still gonna buy it though. What's up? The brain hit me. What's up? It's a beautiful day here in Boulder, except it's really hot. It is. Did you get me nagging on you? He's yelling at me for walking slow, but he always walks so much faster than me and like leaves me behind. Like that's so unconsiderate. And Gus is just like walking along. Anyway, we were just on Pearl Street for a little bit. Uh, it's my first like real day here in Boulder. We just did some shopping, obviously, because I don't go anywhere without shopping. We're gonna head back to Gus's house right now. I'm getting a vlogger vlog. Stop! <laughs> I'm doing my own vlog. You're the worst. <laughs> oh my god. Hey MTV, welcome to my crib. I really want to get like the Colorado brandy t-shirt here, you know, because I'm like in Colorado So I'd rather do that than buy it online, but they only have it in the crop top And it is so cropped and I tried on these pants too and they're high-waisted so like they're supposed to be like down here like Like what like who wears this stuff We're here out at 29th Street Mall right now I've been doing some shopping and stuff We just went to Brandy Melville and I literally didn't even get anything I got something like for my sister, but I didn't get anything for myself, which is really surprising and I'm kind of bummed out because like I really wanted to go there I was really excited to go there, but they didn't have that much stuff All they still have is like summer stuff since it's like the very end of summer I don't want to spend a bunch of money on summer tops that I'll only be able to wear for like a few more weeks All right, I have to find Gus. He left me because I was taking too long
All right, shouts from Boulder, Colorado. Ethan Gonzo right here with my boy Gus. You all know Gus from the boyfriend tag. He's famous. You all don't know me, but I live with Gus. And so, uh, famous by association. Famous by association. We got a fast freshman here named Gabe Fendel, aka Fendi. What's up, Gabe? Award for the fans. This is his hat. His girlfriend. Thank you. Got it from. His headquarters in Germany. Germany. Anyways, we just got some uh, sweet gelato. In. Anyways, it's been live from Boulder. It's been real, guys. And uh, peace out. See you, guys. See ya. <laughs> They're so big. Sometimes you'll see people. That's what she said. Shut up. I was just looking at myself. Oh, that's the usual. So now I have evidence of you being mean to me. Yeah, look at that house. So cool. Okay, go. I honestly hate you. Cut that out. Cut that out. That's funny to have. That. I can't have curse words. Where's the ones with the snow? There's snow out there. There's a bunch of them, they're huge. Yeah. I wonder if they're vultures. Big birds are like really scary, especially because they're like all black. They have to the be vultures. Ones are like and then there's the CU campus down there. Zoom in on that. There's like the football stadium and then other campus buildings. So we drove down a little bit and now we're here at Panorama Point. It's very high up as you can see, but it's like a lot lower than. Um, I wanted to come down here because we came here at night when I visited here back in like March or February or something like that. So I have like a picture here of Gus. So we're gonna like recreate it. <laughs> night so it was cool to see all the lights and stuff but it definitely like was not as cool as being here in the daytime because you don't get the full like effect you know but yeah it's very cool it's very panoramic we're just reliving the memes out here us is stretching his foot or something typical athlete over here just changed and got ready for dinner i'm wearing the same arrowhead free people necklace i was wearing the other night tube top is also free people and then these distressed high-waisted black denim shorts that i got from like shein or something now i'm a little bit more put together from earlier hiking and stuff we're gonna go back on pearl street get some dinner walk around go Third wheeling us. 
Yeah. Dang good. I vlog. It's been a while. I haven't vlogged in a good couple of days. I think the last thing I filmed was dinner on Sunday and today's Tuesday. I've been having like a chill past couple of days so there's not really a whole lot to vlog but we're getting ready to go back out to Pearl Street for dinner like we do literally every night. We're going to this place called Salt that we went to last time I visited here back in the springtime so that'll be fun to go back to again. I thought you were gonna drop it and I was like... No. vlog today we are out here at rocky mountain national park we drove here a little bit through estes park to get here it was like an hour and a half or so from boulder it's pretty chilly it's like 60 degrees here and it was just raining for a while i have a long sleeve but i just have shorts on so i was kind of unprepared you know i'm from wisconsin i know how to deal with the cold it's actually nice that it's kind of chilly it's a good break it's been like super hot lately and at home it was really hot so like 60 degree weather just feels so nice it feels like fall i think we're at like 10,000 feet right now so i'm pretty out of breath but it is beautiful here um, we just kind of picked a spot and drove to it, but coincidentally, it was the same spot that my family and I went to a couple years ago here at Rocky Mountain Park. It's called Bear Lake. We just thought it sounded cool, drove here, we pull up, and I was like, oh my god, this is the same spot. The sun is like at a pretty bad spot right now, so none of the pictures turned out super great. We're just out here in some beautiful nature. <laughs> Let's see, I don't know where Gus went. Gus! Did I walk past him? Gus! Gus! Oh my god, literally where is he? I'm like, I'm kind of worried now. I've been walking around for like five minutes now. I walked down farther, I went back to where we came from, and I literally have no idea where Gus is. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm freaking out a little bit. I should know where he could have gone. Like, how far did he go? Uh, I really hope I'm just like freaking out for no reason, but still. You gotta be in the vlog. Yeah. I'm gonna give you like 10,000 new subscribers. Right here, dude. Hey everybody, my name is John Dressel. Good friend of Gus's. Just met Paris. Look at this dude. She's part of the family now. <laughs> Aw. Fucking bye here, dude. I looked for him for like 15 minutes and I was screaming his name and I thought right here, dude, that dude. he like hit his head and passed out. I was like yelling his name so much and he wasn't responding. <laughs> and he was like watching me and <laughs> taking videos of me and laughing. Paris, good old humor. gonna interview you. How do you feel knowing that you only have one day left here with Gus before you start college in Madison, Wisconsin? I don't know. I'm sad about it, but you guys are coming to race at Madison. Yeah, three times. Yeah. Three You'll times. You'll see Johnny boy. You'll see me. John will there, be there. Racing. John's going to win nationals. Winning? So. Uh, John, Johnny winning nationals. I'm not. No comment. No comment. <laughs> That's Swimming a yes. Grind, though. No comment. So. Doesn't want to jinx himself. Mm -hmm. Peace. It's so fake, John. Not all of us can be vloggers, right, John? I think you'd be a good vlogger. 
Oh yeah, you'd get in trouble for it. Like, Gotta stay compliant. <laughs> Sorry, I'm vlogging on my phone. I didn't feel like bringing out my vlog camera, but I look a little bit rough right now, so ignore that. So today is Friday morning, August 24th. It's my last day here in Boulder. I'm about to leave for the airport in like an hour or so, which is really sad. Today is also Gus's birthday. He is out at practice right now, so I thought while I'm just waiting around for him, would go to this little bagel place that we really like here that's really good, pick him up a little birthday breakfast bagel before he drives me out to Denver to the airport. I'm really sad about leaving, but in two days I move into college, which is super exciting. So